Hi friends, welcome to Novation. I'm Shantanu and I welcome you all to this important sessions where we are going to discuss various important words and their antonyms. So friends, do watch the video till the end and answer the assignment questions which I give you as always. Okay, so without any further ado, let's move forward to uh, the first question. So friends, the first is choose the correct antonym for protein. So friends, uh, what does the uh, word protein means? So protein means someone or something which changes frequently, which varies and keeps changing. Okay, so which of these is uh, the correct opposite for this word? So the antonym, correct antonym is unchanging. Okay, so uh, let's see the meaning of other words. Friends, mutable, it means something which do not change is called mutable and which does not change, it is called immutable. So if the option, in the option we had immutable, so that would be our answer. Next, wallflower. Friends, wallflower is used for someone who is not very social. He is an introvert person and does not like to spend a lot of time in uh, social gatherings. And courageous, you all know. So the answer for our antonym of protein is unchanging. Let's move forward. Next is the word effete. So friends, uh, it, the meaning of effete is uh, for, used for someone who has very less energy or who is very weak. So uh, let's see who, what will be the antonym for weak. It will be C powerful. So uh, the antonym for if it is powerful and the meaning of secretive, you know, uh, daunting is uh, uh, it means something which is which seems to be very difficult. OK, so that means daunting and enervate is again. It is a synonym of if it because enervate means when the whole energy of uh, a person is drained out. It means he, he is left with no energy. So that means enervate. So it will be the direct synonym for if it. So my answer will be powerful. Let's move forward. Choose the correct antonym for prodigal. So friends, we have discussed this word I think uh, previously also. Prodigal is someone who is uh, who wastes money or is very extravagant. Is a spendthrift. Uh, so the correct antonym for prodigal will be miser because miser does not spend a lot of money. He saves it uh, for uh, he saves the money. Uh, for future benefits okay so he does not spend a lot of money so the antonym for prodigal is miser friends wastrel is the synonym for prodigal wastrel is also a person who wastes a lot of uh, resources or money and the meaning for the word reprimand is to scold or uh, uh, censure someone and the meaning for magnanimous is someone who has a very big heart uh, heart and is very generous toward others okay so the answer for prodigal antonym is miser Let's move forward. Choose the correct antonym for truculent. So friends, uh, truculent is used for a person who is very aggressive and he wants to uh, fight uh, again and again. So the uh, antonym for such a person will be one who is very friendly. So our uh, uh, antonym will be amiable because amiable is a person is used for a person who is very friendly. And pugnacious is a direct synonym for truculent because the meaning of pugnacious is again someone who is very belligerent or who uh, likes to fight a lot and elevated you know raising something and effeminate so effeminate means uh, having uh, characteristics like a female so it is specially used for a male who acts or uh, have uh, characteristics like a female so that is called effeminate so our answer is amiable let's move forward choose the correct synonym for the word docile so friends, the meaning of the word docile is uh, it is used for someone who likes to be uh, who likes someone to have authority on him. Okay, so he likes to be uh, supervised and he likes to have authority on himself. So uh, the opposite for such a word will be someone who do not like any kind of authority. So the answer will be a intractable. It is uh, the meaning of the word is someone who do not like any authority. He does uh, things uh, the way he wants to do. Okay. So that is intractable. Now the meaning for salubrious is it means healthy. Simple meaning healthy and irate means uh, uh, getting angry easily. Okay. And dolorous is used for someone who is very uh, sad and sorrowful. So that is do dolorous. Okay. So the answer is intractable. Let's move forward. Next is choose the correct synonym for spurious. So friends, the meaning of spurious is uh, to uh, is a spurious means fake or false. Okay, because we can we use it like spurious claim. So false claim. So antonym for false will be of course true. 
so uh, my answer should be a genuine that is uh, not fake which is genuine okay so answer uh, correct antonym for spurious is genuine and eccentric means uh, something which is very strange furious is you all know uh, which is like very angry and polished you all know okay so my correct answer is genuine let's move forward and the correct uh, choose the correct antonym for the word abstruse so friends the meaning of abstruse is uh, something which is very less known or which is very difficult to understand okay so the uh, such a thing which is uh, which can be antonym for this is which can be easily understood or is very well known so my answer should be d familiar and the meaning for recondite is it it has a same meaning as abstruse which is very less understood or is difficult to understand that means uh, recondite it is a synonym for abstruse and obstruct you all know hindrance and truce okay truce is uh, truce means uh, any agreement between two parties which were at war so uh, agreement uh, leads to peace so truce means peace okay let's move forward choose the correct antonym for nonplussed so friends another interesting word friends nonplussed means uh, confused okay so if you nonplus someone you have confused him okay so the antonym for nonplussed will be uh, making things clear so our answer will be a clear and the meaning for sporadic is sporadic is used as in uh, used for events which are which occur uh, sometimes like non very not very regular they occur intermittently that means sporadic and confound is again is a synonym for non plus confound means to confuse okay you can remember it's through uh, c o n con it start with confuse also start with con and confound also start with con and condemn uh, condemn means uh, to uh, disapprove something publicly okay so that is condemn so my correct answer will be non plussed is uh, direct and antonym for non plussed is clear let's move forward choose the correct antonym for penurious so friends penurious means uh, it is used for someone who is very poor do not have any money okay penniless so and the correct antonym for this uh, person will be someone who has lots of money lots of wealth so he should be d rich the opposite word for penurious is rich so uh, impecunious friends do remember this word also impecunious also means very poor without any money cautious you know very careful pensive i told you pensive is someone who is in deep in deep thought very thoughtful okay so we have seen the words uh, next the next is uh, choose the correct antonym for ebullient so friends uh, the meaning of ebullient is someone who is very cheerful very enthusiastic okay uh, very eager and uh, the antonym for such a word will be someone who is very lazy or very uh, dull kind of a person so that will be c lackadaisical uh, lackadaisical means someone who is very lazy and uh, uh, is very inactive kind of a person okay and dominating you know friendly you know accost okay the meaning of accost is to go ahead and talk to someone that is called as accost okay so the correct answer only is lackadaisical let's move forward next is choose the correct antonym for the word paucity so friends uh, what is the meaning for paucity uh, paucity ka meaning hota hai kisi cheez ki kami hona yani ke uh, dearth of something or lack of something so the correct antonym for uh, such a word will be having something in a large quantity so my correct antonym is c profuse profuse means having something in abundance bahut zyada hona that is called profuse and uh, the meaning of avarice is um, it is a feeling of excessive greed excessive greed so someone who is very greedy is having a feeling of avarice and uh, dearth dearth is again a synonym for paucity as i told you dearth also means kis cheez ki kami hona lack of something and another interesting word is specter so it is not related to paucity specter means ghost okay bhoot if i change the spelling a little bit and i write uh, s c e p t r e so friends specter this is also a uh, interesting word it is uh, a wand or a stick which is uh, held by a king or a ruler so a monarch holds a holds a scepter so do remember both these words and don't get confused okay so let's move forward next is choose the correct antonym for abdicate so another uh, important word i would say friends abdicate means to quit or to give up 
especially it is used in the context of giving up a post or a power and uh, in old times it was used for a king someone who a king who renounces his power or give up gives up his power abdicates his throne okay so the correct uh, opposite word for abdicate will be taking the power or snatching it so the answer is a usurp so usurp means taking or snatching the power by force uh, another similar word is abrogate abrogate means to cancel or to annul okay uh, if we cancel any policy it is known as abrogating it or cancelling it or annulling it and uh, renounce as i told you is the synonym for abdicate giving up or quitting and friends foster is another interesting word uh, foster means to encourage something or to uh, feed it or grow it okay so encouraging is uh, known as fostering let's move forward choose the correct anto uh, choose the correct antonym for diligent so friends this is a very easy word i hope every one of you know the uh, meaning of diligent diligent means very hard working okay so it is used for a person who is very hard working so the correct antonym for hard working will be the person who is lazy and does not like to do hard work so such a person is known as indolent okay a lazy person now the meaning of smug is someone who is self satisfied that is known as smug crony crony is a negative connotation word it is used for a friend or a complicit in a wrong doing that is known as crony and industrious is a synonym for diligent industrious ka meaning hota hai uh, kadi mehnat karna ya bahut hard work karna so that is also diligent okay so uh, let's move forward next is another very interesting word uh, choose the correct antonym for opprobrium so friend opprobrium ka meaning kya hota hai it is uh, the uh, criticism in public if you criticize or censure someone in public especially in public then it is known as opprobrium so iska correct opposite word kya hona chahiye agar aap uh, kisi ki uh, praise karo kisi ko praise karo so that is oppro uh, opposite of opprobrium so the correct antonym is approbation what is the meaning of approbation as i told you it is uh, it uh, the meaning of approbation is praising something or someone and vituperation vituperation is an uh, synonym of opprobrium vituperation means to vilify or to criticize someone and uh, auspicious means as you know it is a, a, a proper time or opportune time and dogmatic another important word dogmatic is used for a person who is very uh, strict and follows certain norms and rules and is very specific in them uh, he strictly follows them has a very opinion opinionated mind okay let's move forward next is choose the correct choose the correct antonym for pristine so friends another interesting word the meaning of pristine is pure or uh, very clean and spotless okay so the correct antonym will be dirty or having various uh, filthy or dirty and the correct antonym is a sullied it means having various uh, dirty spots and uh, thus it is the antonym for pristine and pure as i told you is a synonym for pristine and alacrity uh, that's an interesting word alacrity the meaning of alacrity is uh, eagerness or uh, very enthusiastic okay and callous another very important word callous means uh, someone who is very indifferent toward others who is very insensitive toward others he keeps others in disregard okay so uh, the answer is sullied now the next word is uh, the correct antonym for terse so friends terse means concise or very short or small period okay and uh, uh, the correct antonym for such a word will be very large or in uh, very large number of words so the correct answer is b circumlocution agar aap apni baatein ghuma ghuma ke bologe to usko bolte hain circumlocution uh, telling some uh, small thing in a large number of words okay that is circumlocution which is opposite to terse and tarnish as you know to uh, blemish something or to remove the sparkle of something and denigrate denigrate is to belittle something jaise hindi mein bolte hain kisi ko niche dikhana that is denigrate and egregious is um, shockingly or very very bad something very bad thing okay so the correct answer is circumlocution let's move forward now the next word is uh, choose the correct antonym for quiescent so friends uh, quiescent is someone who is very lazy or inactive 
so the correct antonym for such a word will be active so uh, my answer is c active because quiescent means inactivity inactive or very lazy so the correct uh, antonym will be active and idle as i told you is the synonym for uh, quiescent and tacit tacit means unspoken something which does not need to be written formally okay and ephemeral this is an important word ephemeral means something which is for very short duration of time which is short lived okay in short you can say short lived okay that is ephemeral so it is not related to quiescent so my correct answer for the antonym for quiescent is active okay let's move forward okay the next uh, is the find the correct synonym antonym for fatuous friends uh, fatuous is someone who is very uh, insensitive uh, insensible or very silly okay not very intelligent is a silly person is known as fatuous person and uh, the correct antonym for such a person word will be someone who is intelligent has basic behavior and is sensitive sensible so the correct answer is c sensible and the meaning for rotund is having a round or uh, fatty body okay round body and vacuous is again a synonym for fatuous it is also uh, for someone who is uh, insensible or very uh, silly kind of a person and iconoclast is another important word uh, iconoclast is someone who does not follow old uh, rituals or old things he like he does not like orthodoxy at all he breaks the orthodoxy and he follows new trend okay so that is iconoclast so my correct answer is sensible let's move forward next is choose the correct antonym for mendacious so friend mendacious is the quality of someone who lies a lot bahut jhoot bolna that is mendacity or mendacious okay so the correct uh, antonym for it will be truthful uh, sachai bolna so my answer should be c truthful flexible you know promulgate ka meaning hota hai friends promote karna kisi cheez ko logo mein batana promote karna dusro ko uske bare mein khabar dena and licentious is Uh, someone who is immoral in uh, in terms of uh, sexual activities okay so that is licentious my correct answer is truthful let's move forward so friends we have reached to the assignment part of this session uh, i want you guys to tell me uh, in comment section one word antonym for the following word first is quotidian uh, next is cognizant third is nadir and fourth is indefatigable okay so uh, i don't i won't say that these are very tough uh, you might be knowing most uh, uh, most of them so do attempt them uh, them in the comment section and tell me the answers okay so friends we have come to an end to this session if you have liked the video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to novation and friends uh, snap is very near so i i want you guys to start working hard for it and uh, again all the very best um, thank you bye bye